I did want to spend a little time going over a couple different sets of concentration units. Solutions are very important in all kinds of fields, including chemistry, biology, uh, medicine. So uh, what is blood but a solution with different concentrations of many things in it, all of which or many of which are critical to maintain in the proper ranges. So, uh, and I'm going to start with molarity, and that's one that we've already done, but let's start there. Molarity, remember, is, so it's capital M, and the molarity is going to equal moles of solute divided by liters of solution. For example, it says, what is the molarity of a solution prepared by mixing 17.2 grams of sodium chloride with 0 0.500 kilograms of H2O to make 491 milliliters of solution? And you can see that um, there's an extra piece of information here, which we will use on the next page, but uh, this is for an actual solution. And uh, to find our moles, of uh, sodium chloride, we know that it's 17.2 grams. We've seen earlier, we could calculate that the molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.44 grams of sodium chloride per one mole. And we can calculate that out. I get 0 0.294 moles. of sodium chloride, and we've got uh, 491 milliliters of solution. Uh, and what that looks like is, so let's plug in. We have 0 0.294 moles of NaCl. We've got 0 0.491 liters of solution. And that will allow us to calculate the molarity. 0.294 divided by 0.491. I get 0 0.599 to three sig figs. Molarity. And at this point, hopefully you feel or are starting to feel comfortable with molarity calculations. You've certainly seen a couple of them at least. And remember, this is a capital M because Believe it or not, our next set of units is molality. And uh, I have sometimes trouble pronouncing L's, uh, which is weird because my name is Miller. And people can't understand me say it sometimes. But here's a two more L's, molality. And um, anyway, molality is actually lowercase m. So that says lowercase, and that's the difference between them as far as how you show them. And so molality, when I write it, I will use a lowercase, and it is going to be moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. And... Um, so it's defined in terms of the amount of solvent, not solution here. So, and it does not vary with temperature because it's based on masses and not volumes. So things that we can weigh because the moles will be based on masses and the kilograms, well, that's a measure of mass. And this is a more biological type of unit. We don't use it as much in chemistry unless we're leaning towards the, our uh, biology parts, which is uh, always a good place to investigate. Now let's do uh, molality of the same solution. Remember we had this question before and we did molarity. Now it's molality. So looking at our previous page, we can see we've got 0 0.294 moles of sodium chloride. And straight away we have 0 0.500 kilograms of H2O. 
And when we multiply this out, I get 0 0.588, lowercase, so I made it kind of extra tiny there, sodium chloride. And again, you will see uh, molality in future chemistry classes. Uh, you will probably see it in biology classes as well. And it will be a unit that is not used as often as molarity. If we look at these two values, we have 0.599 molarity and 0.588 molality. You can see the numbers are pretty close. Uh, however, uh, and I do want to add that as the concentration goes down, these two numbers will become more and more similar and they will approach each other and become the same at some point, uh, even though they're different sets of units. And uh, the reason is because you can see we've got 0 0.500 kilograms, which is 500 grams, and we've got 491 milliliters, and the difference is because the density of these solutions is not exactly one, and anyway, so as you get to lower and lower concentrations, the density will get closer to one because there's less stuff in the water. And um, anyway, so but these are two sets of units. Now, there's a third set of units that we've used before. And uh, again, just sort of recapping all the sets of units before we launch into uh, a couple new ones, by the way. Percent composition by mass. That's going to be usually percent uh, NaCl mass by mass or something like that. That's a scribble right there, sorry. And that's going to be equal to mass of sodium chloride over mass of solution times 100%. And again, this is a set of units we've seen in chemistry. You'll see in biology. You'll definitely see this in medicine especially in IV bags. Um, it says, what is the mass percent of a solution prepared by mixing 17.2 grams of NaCl with 0 0.500 kilograms of H2O? And again, this is going to be mass now of solution. And our mass of solution is always the mass of our solute plus the mass of our solvent. So I think we can do this up here too, <laughs> hopefully. We've got 17.2 grams over, well, 500, uh, sorry, 0 0.500 kilo, kilograms is 500 grams. So this is going to be 500 plus 17.2 grams times 100%. And my, yes, I'm still on the picture there. And I'll put my number down here. And we'll get a different number now. It's a different set of units. 17.2 divided by parenthesis, 500 plus 17.2 times 100%, 3.33 rounding wise, percent NaCl mass by mass. So those are three concentration units. Concentration is a very important thing in chemistry and in so many parts of life. And uh, let's stop there.